Okay, guys, so I'm going to give you a quick rundown on setting up a local development environment. So if you're going to work with WordPress.org, this is the way to do it. So Google up WordPress.org, jump on there at the same time. Google up MAMP and get on there. Going to need both tools. Once you get to the WordPress.org, over here, download WordPress. Download WordPress 4.7.5. Simple. I usually like to save it into a folder on my desktop or somewhere in my files. I'll leave that up for you. It's going to go into my downloads and it'll probably take a few minutes. Flip over to MAMP. MAMP, my Apache, my SQL, PHP, you don't need to know any of that. You just need to know that it's going to work. Over here, the free one, click download. Choose which one you need, Mac or Windows, click download. I'm not going to go through it because I've already got it on here and I don't want to do it again. But download that. And I keep a little icon for it over here. Once it's downloaded, double click and it loads up. It just creates the environment for us. Once both those little boxes are filled in, you're good to go. So click open start page. And it's going to you're going to know from up here, it says local host. So basically, we're in our local development environment. Now, just move that down there. What you're going to need to do, sorry, you don't need to do that at all. You need to go in to your C drive, once you've got MAMP installed, find your MAMP folder, jump in there, come down to HT Docs, jump in there, you can see all these, all these are basically websites that I've made in this local environment in the last couple of months. New, new folder, you're going to call it whatever you want. So, if you're writing a blog, you'll give it whatever. It's not important, it's not going to go live, it's mainly on your computer. Uh, go to invention, whatever, it's not important. Uh, you should have an empty directory there. So if you put your WordPress that you downloaded, once if you're using Firefox, it'll show up here. You'll find it in your download folder. You can drag it out, put it on your desktop. I've already got one, so we'll just slap it in there. And I'll open that folder. Clean this up while we move along. Open it, open up to here. This is showing up, for me this is showing up with brackets because I'm running brackets for some coding stuff that I do. It's good for HTML, it's a good free coder. You'll see that in a minute if you don't have one. You want to go with brackets or Notepad++ or Atom. All of those will work for what we need to do here. If you're going to get into some more serious coding, you'll probably want to go with something else like Sublime or whatever. It's a little bit... Uh, a little bit more involved. So what I'm going to do is highlight everything in this folder and copy it. Over here into this, whatever you've called your folder. You're only going to probably have one because you don't build websites. 
Uh, that'll take a few seconds. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So I shouldn't need this anymore. Waiting for this to load up. So I've got it in here. It's in my MAMP, it's in my HT docs, it's in my writer site. It's what I'm going to call this one. From here, we find config WP config sample. And for me, I'm going to open it with brackets, but you can open it with Notepad. Best to do it with a code editor. You probably open it in your notebook as well. I don't know for sure. All right. Don't get put off. We are going to do some coding. We're just going to replace these couple of things here. So if you come down, my SQL settings, you can get this info. Define database name. Whatever you called the folder that we set up first. So, do you remember I called my site to get that right? Database user. In this case, the answer is right here on this man page. Once we click the open, if you remember, we click the open start page, and it gave us this screen. We've got user, password, and the port right there. And that's the information that we need to change over here. So the user is root. Password is root. And in here, is where you will put colon three six because getting it from here port three three oh six if yours says something else that's what you'll put in there that's how you're going to make this work these need to match up okay guys that's the important part i'm pretty sure you'll get the same thing but See what happens. You might get for some reason get something else. And to save, oh sorry, file, save as. We want to name this one. WP config dot ph. It's a PHP because PHP is the programming that WordPress uses on the server side to make websites run. Blah blah blah. You don't even care. It's what it needs to be. We've saved it like that. Shouldn't need that again. Over here, PHP my admin. Click on that. Now, yours will probably be empty here because you don't make sites for other people. Click New. You can see it's telling you again the information, server, the port 3306. So we're going to make a new database. Database name. Guess what it is? Yeah, you know. Whatever you called that database, that folder that we made right at the start, your blog name, that's what you're going to write in here. Mine was writer underscore site, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to move over here and click create. Create. From here. 
Pressure's on because I'm making the video and I look like a fool. Go. So I'll put it in again. Click to go. Should be complete. Should be created now. So I'm going to go up here and remove everything after localhost. So I've got localhost forward slash. And we're in. We've got WordPress installed. You'll pick your language. If it's English, just go to English United States. I don't think there's another English option there. Continue. Site title. You can change most of this later. Here's the name. Password for this one, call it. And confirm the use of the weak password. It doesn't know that we're just keeping this local. It's only on our computer. No one else is going to see it. Put in your email there and click install wordpress success you remember you copied and pasted you wrote it down you pick something simple you can remember like i said this one it's only on your computer so you can have a stupid stupidly easy password because no one's going to hack this one here so that's probably something. Simple one. You can click remember me because you probably only got one. I've got a few with different clients' passwords and things, so I won't do it. So that's it. Um, pro tip, right click, open in a new tab. Here's your site. And here's your dashboard. So as you make updates, click and make update, jump over here and look at them. All right, that's the end of this video. You guys can jump around and have fun setting up a WordPress right there on your own computer. Change all your content, set it up however you want, change your themes, whatever it is you want to do. I hope that helps someone out there. Thanks, guys.